Hi, I'm Gigi. In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you how you can sell your home and get the most for your investment. Selling your home for the most money starts with right listing price. On this chart, you'll see the pricing zone for your home. The data in the chart includes all homes sold in your neighborhood over the last six months. The bars with red numbers across the bottom show the square foot price each home sold for. The purple line shows you the square feet in each home. Typically, in a given neighborhood, the overall price per square foot decreases as the size of the home increases. If your home compares favorably with other homes in the neighborhood in terms of age and condition, the pricing zone then shows you the range at which your home should sell in the average time frame for current home sales in the neighborhood. The pricing zone is the starting place for setting the right listing price for your home. The time it takes to sell a home is highly dependent on the sales price. In this chart, you can see the homes sold listed left to right by the number of days before going under a sales contract and the amount of price reductions and concessions each seller had to take before closing. In general, homes priced too high take longer to sell and typically end up dropping the asking price or accepting concessions due to needed repairs or not meeting a lender appraisal as the closing date approaches and both parties want to finalize the deal. The red line indicates the percent price change from original listing to close and the purple bars list the final sell price. The blue bars show you the total amount of reductions and concessions the seller had to accept before closing. It's painful when a seller has to keep their house on the market for a long time and also take a significant reduction in price. The best approach is to price it right for the moment you list. You'll get more showings and more offers to choose from. One of the most significant factors affecting the choice of the right listing price is condition. In this example, you can see two very similar homes with very different sale prices. The key difference here is the upgrades chosen by the house on the right an updated kitchen, quartz countertops, a tile backsplash, and a strong marketing plan yielded this seller 40,000 more than the seller on the left. It takes a lot of preparation and planning to sell your home for the best return, but it also takes a strong selling partner who's working for you and your goals. The best practice method involves tight market analysis, a comprehensive marketing plan, close attention to detail during the contract period, and after sell customer service for a smooth handoff. I use a five-step approach when selling any property. First, by ensuring each listing has a professional marketing package, including photos, floor plan, and a highlight video to use for marketing purposes. Second, marketing goes far beyond a simple MLS listing, utilizing direct contact with top buyer agents and numerous online outlets to maximize your reach. Third, any home that doesn't get significant traffic early on should have an open house. This re-engages search activity on the MLS and other online outlets and gets more foot traffic to the property. It's key to track your marketing results, something most agents don't do, and share these with my clients so we can together fine-tune our marketing plans to reach interested buyers as quickly as possible. And number five, it's imperative to manage the transaction closely. This is crucial to minimize your risk as the homeowner and maximize the ultimate profit you make on the sale of your home. We'll work together closely during the contract period to make the right decisions together. Remember, I work for you. To close, I've included a bit of information here about me. When you're ready to sell your home the right way or find your next home, I'm right here, right now, and ready to work for you.